Hello everyone, QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of Hustle Castle. As you can see, we have a visitor outside of our castle today, and it is a quote-unquote a dragon. That means that we are doing the dragon hustle like we talked about in the earlier video. Didn't have a lot of the details, but uh, we can go ahead and jump in and cover it right now, and... Uh, see where we're at and i'm also going to make a little progress in the event i'm also going to talk about the giveaway the last week's giveaway this video is a couple days later than i meant it to be so i do apologize for that but i will get the winners turned in and hopefully the payouts will be coming in on monday so as a reminder these giveaways are supported by the official hustle castle facebook community link is down below in the description to this video and they have been supporting the channel for a long time and giving giving diamonds away for all the winners so 500 diamonds to 10 separate winners and this week the winners are the following uh the winner was 490 so all of you that guessed around the 500s were close so we got meet 108 jack Cicerni, leshy slick rick jones by tor doomsday thor adam and date Congratulations, congratulations, you guys each get 500 diamonds, and those will be, like I said, I expect, I'll get them turned in today. Um, nothing much happens on the weekend, so I suspect you will get those on Monday, and uh, congratulations. I will announce the next giveaway soon, but that one's going to be back on my Discord server. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this off here. I've been going back and forth, and I didn't get get things ready to go, so uh, I will be doing another video again probably in a week or so, uh, but for the time being, this one is going to be in the um, Discord server. So if you don't know about that, you can see it down below in the ticker and also in the description as well. Uh, it's just a place where we have uh, people chatting about the game, all the games that I cover actually. Hustle Castle, Zero City, American Dad, Apocalypse Soon, and Shelter War. Those are the four main games that I cover right now. They're all very similar to this. All right, so this, like I said, this week is going to be all about, or this video is going to be all about the event. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and deploy my clan because I saw that that just went live and I'm going to be opening up some of my collections and that's going to be spending food. So I'm going to go ahead and spend some food here right now. I'm just going to go on the lowest one and people can move me later if they want to. I'll just go right here for the time being and then someone can move me later. Ooh, all right. I was dropping trophies, so let me fix that as well. And for those of you that don't know what that means, this trophy number up here, if you're a beginner, as you go in there and fight, you uh, the, when you win, those trophies go up, and when you lose, those trophies go down, and you want to make sure that you are in control of those, and if you get too high, you're going to be facing tougher competition, and if it's too low, you're not going to be able to get the resources that you're looking for. So I like to keep mine right around 2100, so I just drop them down, and... Uh, forgot to put my people back in here so you might see a little bit different setup here I uh, popped in a, my second Dracula so I have a double one going right now don't have the right setup or the right gear yet but um, just testing it out just got that done a couple hours ago actually so don't uh, don't have much test information on that yet all right let's go back to struggle road just pick a spot like I said and then we'll go drop a eighth person in there okay got that done and I do have one more way to spend some food which let's go do that I do apologize for a little bit of maintenance here I was gonna do this anyway in the video but I want to get it out of the way now so I want to go to Gem Bay I already did three runs so this is my fourth run so I get to pay lots of money deploy the best not money food I'm gonna add spells 12 icy traps. Little trick for you, for those of you that don't know, I have talked about this a variety of times, but you can actually carry more spells than you are currently allowed to carry by this trick, or not really trick, but by following this approach where you basically set your squad, go into gem bay, you know, put the full spells on as many as you want. Then you can go back in and start crafting. And whatever you don't use will come back into your stack. So if you are a regular player and you have nine and you go in with nine, you don't spend any. I'm not gonna do that right now. You don't spend any, then you can have the nine plus the nine you brought in so you can carry 18 that way. So whenever I deploy, I automatically go in there and immediately start. Let's put these guys back in there too. I immediately craft until I'm fully maxed out. And since I am running premium, I get 18. Nice little change here. We just have to click once. 
And back on what I say about the trophies. You want to keep that to a place where you can actually manage it and make it easier for you to uh, know who you're going to fight or have a good idea of who you're going to be fighting on your map. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the Dragon, dragon Hustle. It's the typical card collecting rune event that we usually have. The goal here is obviously these runes. These are the big items of the event. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight runes now for each different type. I already have seven of them for all of them. So I'm looking for the new th the three new ones. We don't have any details of what they are other than the fact that they are uh, artifact runes. I haven't seen much information on what does what yet at this point, but looking forward to that. Uh, more than likely we won't get it with only 37. Usually it's, I think, over 100 before I've gotten the first one the last couple of times. Um, what else? So we have the ability to spend, which we'll go take a look at that in a moment. We got some new skins in the game. And I got this on my mini account, actually, this Dragon Hustle Orb. I just don't have any orb people at the moment. And that's it. So that, those are the things we're going for. We're so basically, I know I'm all over the place here. Um, you guys know it's already been live for two days. You just play. You do your normal stuff. As you do those things, you get cards. And as you get your cards, you complete your collections. And as you complete your collections, you'll get a chance to get stuff. And then occasionally you will get the runes. And then also the first time you get through each row here, you complete a quest and you get these items here. These are all pretty minimal nothing special except throughout my mini account i don't have premium so you know you get you get many um like one day premiums down here and this top one gives you a legendary and then also three days for premium and the goblin so for my main account or my mini account this is gonna be useful for this one it's it's okay but it's nothing terribly special and for each collection you get you know you start a counter once you get to 100 you get this legendary artifact which this time is going to be the ancient rebellion so resurrects up to four random units that got killed both allies and enemies interesting with their health at its max the fight for the artifact wearer for two seconds and then dies so you, four people who are dead are going to come back to life and fight for you for two seconds that could be cool that could be interesting um might not be consistent since it's going to be random but that could be interesting so the dragon's eye that's where that's what we have there so certainly going for that one um what else uh the other big thing that we always have in these are the ability to pay and get more stuff i have not done that yet we have the royal dragon egg and once you get you get two different options you get the cheap option you get the expensive option the cheap option gives you all these items down here below you get an arena weapon, which is nice. You get some other stuff, premium, diamonds, uh, decoration, another decoration, which is kind of cool. And then if you do the 1999, everything, as you look at those numbers down below, everything gets more, uh, it gets better. So you get 2,500 cards, you get legendary, you also get a legendary arena armor, which is nice. You get cards, you get cards to gift to your clan. So it's definitely good. Uh, I don't know which one I'm going to buy. More than likely, I will be buying one of them. I mean, I don't need all of this extra stuff. The extra 35 cards is nice, sure. Cards to the clan is nice, sure. This will be nice, sure. But I already have a lot of this stuff, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I will buy something at some point. There's really no hurry to do it at this point. You know, at the uh, you have plenty of time to do it. Uh, another little trick that I mean to mention every single time and I keep forgetting is this, this timer here. Every... Th three every two hours i believe it is you get to watch a commercial and you get three cards that way one little trick is if you have multiple devices because this can run on multiple i saw a question today is like if you have it on ios can you run on android vice versa and the answer is yes because i primarily play on ios but this video is being done on an android emulator so um it's just you just have to tie it to a facebook account and then you can switch back and forth as long as you're logged into facebook on both of them so I have multiple devices and I watch commercials on multiple devices. So I believe it's eight or nine commercials you can watch throughout a 24 hour period. And that gives you three cards every time. If you have three or even two devices, you can go every two hours on each one and get it all knocked out in eight hours. You don't have to do it all day long. Um, or if you have you know three or four devices, you can get it knocked out in a couple hours, which is kind of handy. So that is what I'm doing. I'm actually almost done, I think, for the day already, which is kind of good after it just started. I think that's all I have for tips and tricks. So I'm going to, I usually save these up for the end and then I end up blasting my way through them and it's kind of a grind and I waste all kinds of resources and all that kind of stuff. So this time I'm not going to do it. There were some thoughts way back when that it potentially had better drop rates at the end. So people would keep saving them at the end, but 
I don't think that's the case anymore because people get them all throughout. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what I can get. I don't know if I'm going to do all 37. I might, might not. So we have every collection except for the top one with at least one in the way it looks. Yep. Since we're down here at the bottom, let's just go ahead and open that one. The Rune of Courage. Let's go for our first pull here and see if we can't get lucky. Ooh, we got something. That's nice. Dragon flag. And just do some more. There's there's all that food coming in. That was the reason. Ooh, there we go. Not sure what I'm looking for. As it is, I'll be maxing out my food here, I'm sure. If I was efficient, I would go through and delete all the stuff here I didn't want, which is pretty much going to be everything. But I am not going to. I'll just let them continue to collect in my hugely amount of inventory of things I don't use. And we are getting a lot of food. You know what? There's one thing I didn't talk about with the event. Let's get out of here and go look at that real quick. And this is something that some people grind this item actually. So like I said, this, this is usually unavailable. It says, you know, coming soon. We have a, a way to get get some more stuff. So we got this path up top, which I believe are the bosses. You have this path on the bottom, which I believe are dungeon bosses. And then you have the path in the middle, which are other players in the game. In the past, if you have a weird build, some of these, especially the dungeon bosses, um, are kind of difficult to beat. And if you're incredibly weak compared to the average for your squad in the arena, this middle row can be kind of difficult. I'm not really sure because my squad's usually pretty strong um, and they've all been pretty easy for me. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually the case this time or not, but uh, strange builds or weak builds are sometimes a little bit difficult. But what we do is we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 15, which are going to be common chests, or they're actually blue, so rare chests. And then we have one legendary chest. And in these chests, you get things like diamonds and gear and things like that. A lot of it's not fantastic, but some of it is. You also get cards. As you can see here, this is all the stuff you can get. So you get cards, so you should use these if you need them. You get some uh, skins, which are kind of nice. You can certainly get some legendary items and things like that that are good. Um, the big thing is, you know, you get cards and food and things like that. So you can actually finish it. You can refresh it for 99 diamonds, which, hey, that gets expensive. Sure. And this actually goes down to lower your um, throne room. But chances are you might get these 99 back. I mean, you'll get a few diamonds as you open the chest. I don't know if you get the full 99 or not, but you'll doing this, you'll be getting other cards. You get those cards, you open more collections, you get a chance for diamonds in those collections as well. So you might lose some diamonds, you might not. You might actually gain diamonds, um, but you are completing more collections, which obviously completing collections gets you further along in the game. So um, in the past, I've actually grinded this quite a bit. Now I'm, run, I'm trying to run two separate accounts right now in this event and also doing two separate accounts of American Dad event going on right now as well. So I don't have as much time to grind this as I usually do. But another benefit to that is, you know, you hold on to these chests and they have food, they have coins, all that kind of stuff. You can just keep them in your inventory until you need them. So I, I've had tons in the past. I opened up a lot of them recently. But so I have this from the gamer event uh, when that one came came up. And then, you know, there's chance for extra coins if you need when you're getting ready to build stuff or extra food if you're running low or if you're grinding the uh, the portal or something like that so s saving up on these is not necessarily such a bad thing and obviously i got 45 so i've done three days of those so far and here's the gamer one here with the premium which i never opened let's just go ahead and open up one of them just to get an idea of what we might get in here i usually save these for the end but hey why not Unfortunately, this is kind of what, this is probably below average, but, um, you know, there's plenty of opportunity to get junk and that does happen a lot, but I should get some cards. So there we go. I got, I got some cards for doing that one. And the same thing for this one. You open that, you're going to get a lot of junk, of course, but you will also get some good things. All right, let me go ahead and open up some more. There we go. We got some set items to go ahead and build. I am running down on set items. I did one. I had the idea of a double Darkula, and I finally crafted enough essence to do that, so I knocked that out. And I am now running. 
a, not a storm. I finished my storm, which was a waste because I never use it. The I'm changing my grim. I never use my uh, my grim here. Illusionist. So I have a, I have two of the illusionists. There was a deal that came out for nine ninety nine. So I bought the uh, the weapon and the weapon soul because that's seventeen essences I don't need to craft. Uh, so I need to have seventeen more to get the armor and the armor soul, and then six more there. So twenty twenty three more for the full illusionist set, and I am on my way to doing that as well. So that's the next one I'm going to build. And after that, I really should have done this a long time ago. I'm going to start working on getting better uh, percentages on some of these things. So I have 14. So you know, I'm well on my way to getting you know two more items for that set. All right, let's go ahead and open up some more. And we are probably overflowing on food already. Oh my goodness, so much food. Well, I guess that was a little bit better than average that time. And unfortunately, if you are one who likes to keep your account so happy, as I am, Going in here and opening up these collections, if you stay in here for a long time, your castle will get to be very unhappy. So I usually take some breaks, go out and click on things. And if I'm having a run of bad luck, I go ahead and do that as well. Hopefully it changes my luck around. Look at that, we got blues and 3100. Is everybody's happier? I got better luck. Maybe not, but it did happen that way this time. 43 diamonds. So you know, if I that's half of a half of a run on the uh, the island over there. Fourteen in, nothing really to write home about so far. I'm gonna start opening a little quicker. We'll make this go a little a little quicker. We're getting a whole lot of nothing though. That is for sure. What's coins? Where am I at in gold? I've been trying to do a little bit more of the gem bay now so I can start uh, getting some more gems built up. Um, and I also, I think I talked about this, my, uh, that's not where I wanna be. I have over a million, come on, a million of the, uh, whatever it's called here, resources where I can go ahead and get my epic gems. So I need to go through and start spending some of those and get a bunch of epic gems and start building those up to uh, legendaries and getting all those stocked up. Unfortunately, that is very expensive. If you guys don't know, if you wanna fully max out a, an epic gem, cost six million gold so you have to do that times two so that's gonna be 12 million gold to get two fully maxed out epics and then to merge them together you gotta pay four million gold and hopefully you are using the scroll to give you the guaranteed uh, when you do that if you don't you might be spending all that money and then it fails and then you lose and have to spend some more to level some things up again I'm getting a whole lot of food that's not really what I'm looking for here but since I'm not fully in the game 100% grinding the event like crazy, spending all the food I possibly can, it's I'm wasting food as it is anyway, so that's okay. One good thing on the weekends for sure is to take that food and grind the portal, get lots of items, whatever you're going for in the portal, so you can get lots of food this way, so you can get a lot of uh, extra runs on the portal. I haven't had a lot of time to do that lately since I've been doing so many other games, but that used to be a standard for me every single weekend. And then if you're uh, a lower account on lower levels, certainly doing the portal is a way to get stronger. I highly, highly recommend that. These might be the worst 34 chests uh, ever opened here. There we go. Something at least vaguely useful. That was 38. So we have 14 more to go to get at least something of note. I don't expect to get a rune in the first 38, but I do expect to get at least one item that's worth writing home about. I guess I got an epic item early on, so that should count for something. It doesn't count for me. On my other account, it would be good, but on this account, not so much. All right, I'm just gonna do them all, because why not? There we go, finally. Of course, it's the most useless gem, but hey, I got an epic gem. Finally, something of note. Well, 
We'll just blast through these last 10 real quickly. The Rune of Courage. I'm ready for it. Let's go. Nope. We got one tenth of a legendary. We're getting a lot of coins here, so I do like that. Nothing. I have been doing the dungeon lately, so getting dungeon items are not such a bad thing for me anymore. And I'm doing that with my mini account. My mini account's running full full squad of 70s, and this account's running full TR11. And somehow we work we work together. Every single time I've done it, it's been 100%. I had to have you I have had to use a couple and revives and things like that in some bad situations, but um, for the most part, this account here can can handle the entire dungeon by itself almost. So that comes in handy. Haven't tried it yet with a double dark hula, but I think that will also be quite helpful. All right, let's just knock these last ones out here real quick. Continue to get a bunch of nothing. All right, that's done. So finally, 38 in and nothing, which I expected, but I did expect to get a little bit more interesting things. This will get a couple days premium, a couple days of the goblin. We'll get some diamonds there as well. Another 25 diamonds. So we're at 50, 60 diamonds so far. Lots of premium. I thought there's more goblins here, but maybe I'm wrong. 70 diamonds. There we go, there's a goblin. 80 diamonds, so not bad. You know, you just complete something, you get all those, so not bad. We got one more collection to go, and then you get this guy up here, which, as we said, we get a legendary item up there. And yeah, so that is the dragon hustle. I will be doing this account. I don't think I can, let's see if I can go log into my other account or at least go take a look at it real quick oh i didn't go to my friends so this is my other account one of my other accounts i have many this is the only other account i'm actively playing at the moment i do have that in the description below so if you want to uh join that account i don't have any I don't have very many friends in there yet, so um, this is my squad. I'm running five by 70, um, and I had a pretty strong when I was at 55, so I had quite a few legendary items, and I stopped playing, and I kind of rushed. Now I'm up to uh, TR9 at the moment, actually, and I'm running, running this setup right now. So pretty much everybody's running something that is old and um, lower level, so 40, 62, and 55, so, but... I can run all the way through Gen Bay 15 and 15 without a problem with this setup, so it's working pretty good. And I do have a hero, and my hero, um, I'm working on the basics, and this is what I've talked about many times on uh, this this uh, this game and the other games. Um, I can't get too far here yet because I'm not up very high. I can't level these past six, but I'm maxing out my robust health for my warriors because I want my tank to, tanks to live. I'm uh, maxing out, which again, is, I can only go up to level six on my sage, which gives me more spell power. And then maxing out here for my damage for my sniper. And these are all maxed out right now. So um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do if I'm going to actually try to do some of these other ones or or just save up all of my ether until I get to the next level and then continue to level those items up. Not sure, but whatever. This account, I did get the offer to go ahead and like max out my training room and max out the bank and max out some other things, but really the point of this account is to have for somebody for me to dungeon with, so I didn't really see a need to pay money and to speed that up and then potentially mess up my, uh, my good dungeoning partner, so um, that one's going slow. But anyway, I've been in there a fair amount lately, so... If you're looking for another friend account, go ahead and uh, friend that one. And like I said, the, uh, the ID should be in the description of the video if you want to, uh, to send that invite. So I think that will do it. And as I said, uh, don't forget to join the giveaway that will... It's not live yet, but I will be posting that very soon on my Discord server. So if you join, you basically go to um, a welcome channel and you give yourself your own rules for whatever game you want. So if it's only Hustle Castle, you click on Hustle Castle role. If you play the other games, you click on those. And then with, once you do that, you get access to additional channels. And within those channels, you get um, there's a giveaway channel. So just go there. And then once the giveaway is live, you just click on a little icon. It's a little party, party icon, and then you're in. And then once it's over, I have a bot on the Discord server that picks the winners. 
and uh, then we'll get the diamonds given out too. So, uh, thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks for participating. Good luck in the event. Hopefully, everybody gets all the runes that you're looking for. And I'm hoping I can at least get my three. But if I'm not grinding enough, I might not. But I'll get them eventually. If you don't get them this time, you can get them next time. So, I'm in no hurry. I will get them, obviously. So, all right. Well, that will do for today. This has been Kishi Runner for Kishi Runner Games, and I will talk to you later. See you.